I should have looked at this view more. I'll do that from now on. Oh nein. Und dann hatten wir einen Autounfall. Das ist original der Tag am Anfang des Spiels. Jetzt redet er wieder darüber, wie gesund Treppen sind. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, das ist der Tag, an dem wir einen Autounfall haben. Hm. There's a whole future ahead. I should feel closer to Harry, but the tech is like a tide slowly pulling at us. No more. I'll stop that drift. Oh man. Gleich haben wir den Autounfall. Ich mag gar nicht. Äh oh Gott. I'm going to tell him how I feel. Ich mag gar nicht in dieses Auto steigen. Das wird nicht gut enden. Oh je, oh je, oh je, oh je. I don't want to lose what we've got to by not paying attention to it. Hmm. Some routine is good, sure. But, I don't know. We're getting lazy, I don't want that. Oh man, Will. Du wirst gleich einen Autounfall haben. Oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott, oh Gott. I should have paid more attention to the small stuff. Not locked on to avoiding everything that matters. I've let myself lose track of what I want after everything we've been through. Tell him tonight. I love that cafe. On warm evenings, sometimes I sit there with a glass of wine, waiting to catch Harry on his way back from work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Maybe we'll go feed the ducks this weekend. I love the way they walk. I didn't expect it, but I feel happy I've made this choice. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, it's passiert us. Fuck.
Oh. Mein. Gott. Sunday was always our day together. We worked too much during the week to see each other often. So on Sundays we would go to feed the ducks. I wish we hadn't worked so hard. <sighs> that was in the end of the summer, but it was beautiful in the winter too. It was away from everything else. It was our place to be together. Ich habe Angst, diese Laterne auszumachen. Also gehe ich erst dorthin. Oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann. This whole place makes me think of him. He would quack at the ducks. He pretended to have conversations with them and that we saw the same ones every week. He began to set up little stories between them. Oh je, wir müssen zur Laterne. Okay. Hm. Doch gar nichts passiert. Ich dachte, wenn die Laterne ausgeht, dann weiß ich nicht, verlassen wir diesen Ort. Und dann one day he was gone. Oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann, oh Mann. The crash investigators don't know whose fault it was. I just can't get myself to feel that it matters. He was... He was driving and now he's... They took him to hospital. Someone called me. But I don't remember who. And I don't remember how I got to the hospital. He was dead when I arrived. <laughs> Monty Python Buch. Sehr cool. Oh man, and all seine Sachen verschwinden mit ihm. Oh Mann, oh Mann. So was ist hier auch total krass. Nicht nur, dass man einen geliebten Menschen verliert, sondern auch dass all seine Sachen irgendwo hin müssen, weggebracht werden. In die Wohnung eines Verstorbenen ausgeräumt wird, weil er die Sachen nicht mehr braucht. Das ist echt krass. Oh Mann. Und dann läuft man 
durch eine immer leerer werdende Wohnung, die aber trotzdem noch so voller Erinnerung ist und Oh Mann. Oh, da sitzt er verzweifelt. Seine große Liebe verloren. Gut, eines dummen Unfalls. Ach du Scheiße, das ist echt, das ist echt. Äh, echt schrecklich, sowas. All these things, these reminders of our time together. I never thought I'd be here, wanting them gone. Yeah. We would lie in bed and read, our breathing sinking. He would close his book, kiss me, and fall asleep. Oh man. I don't need two toothbrushes here anymore. When friends come to visit me, they speak to me in a quiet voice, as if a loud sound might startle me. They ask about the missing objects. I say, I'm going for a minimalist look. They nod and give me a strange smile, but I know they don't believe me. They know the reminders hurt too much. been walking more since he died. I've been trying to get away from the memories to find something new, but everywhere I go I see things that make me think of him. face going to restaurants yet. I don't want a table for one. His singing in the rain impersonation was wonderfully dreadful. I never worked out if he was trying to be bad at it, or if it was a natural lack of talent.
call it a crash, but it was more of a collision. There was barely any damage. The insurance company asked if I wanted to get it repaired. I hung up. It was the angle the car's hit or where he was looking. It twisted his spine. Just bad luck. And he's gone. It could happen to anyone. But it happened to him. decided to stay inside more. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Die Geschichte nimmt einen echt mit. Keep to the inside. I can control what's in here. Even at work, there are reminders. I need this space to be clear, so I can be free. We had the rest of our lives. I had his life, but he won't have mine. I don't understand any of this. I... I just don't know. I don't know how I feel or how to feel. There's something cold inside my chest, pulling me down. He'd want me to be happy, but I can't be, not living like this. Get rid of all these things. I'll get new things, things that I didn't use with him. It's all gone. He's gone. Hmm, eine leere Wohnung. But he's not. I can't get rid of him. Why won't he leave me alone? Oh man, die Erinnerung. In der Erinnerung ist sie immer da. Oh man. I'm different now. He changed me. I feel the space he's left inside me, but it's okay. It's his shape that's going to be part of me that I carry forever. Denying that would be killing him again. I 
I can live. It's okay to do that. And be happy again someday soon. Eventually. Happy I knew him. He'd hug me now, laugh at me for crying and probably burst into tears and start laughing at himself too. He's not gone. Not really. His favourite stories are still here. I'm going to read them all. I don't know if this world is all there is. But the time with him meant something. It was special to me. That time will never happen again. I'll never forget him. reached out to me when I had pushed him away. When he was small, I had looked after him. But in the end, he looked after me when I needed him. He was growing up, and the world was changing too. He was becoming mature. I saw things with him that I would never have dreamed of as a child. <laughs> <laughs> Sehr cool. He often visited over the years. And then you came to see me. Wer kam? Wer kam, um sie zu sehen? Oh. Oh. Nein! Wow, jetzt sind wir gerade aus dem Haus geglitscht. Oh. A 
and then you told me what had happened. Oh man. It's one of those strange things. I've just been thinking about Will. No, I can't manage to. We kept in touch a little, then a few years later became friends again when he was working based out of London. It felt good to have him in my life again. He always talked about his family, life, and about you both. He told me how happy he was. And then you called me. He was happy at the end. Oh, man. Ja, er war glücklich. Er wollte heiraten, wollte Kinder kriegen, eine Familie gründen und ist viel zu früh gegangen. Ich liebte euch beide so much. I still keep on thinking I'll see him again. Or that he's walking beside me, just in the corner of my eye. It's silly, really. I was angry. Angry he was gone, that he'd been taken. But I was wrong. He wasn't taken. He had already been given to us. We had him in our lives. We could love him. And we always will. After we shared our memories, I went back to the park where I had spent so much time with Will. I had so many more fragments of his life that I had never known. I felt at peace. Talking with them, even without Will, I felt I wasn't so alone. They carry him with them too. I just needed to let myself see that. Life isn't a planned event. It's just a journey. And some travelers only stay with us for a little while. I still miss him. But it's enough that, briefly, we walk together.
krass bei der Musik und äh, boah, da möchte ich gerade echt gar nicht dazwischen reden, aber ähm, ja, auf jeden Fall eine, eine sehr, sehr mitreißende Story, hier hat einfach, hier hat einfach alles gepasst, die Atmosphäre, die die Art und Weise, wie alles erzählt wurde im Zusammenhang mit der Musik und ähm, ja, ähm, ich, ich würde es, ich, 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 ich bin gerade sprachlos. Also ich bin auf jeden Fall beeindruckt. Es ist, es ist, mich persönlich hat die Geschichte sehr mitgenommen und ähm, ich finde sie wirklich wunderbar erzählt. Einfach nur krass. Ein, ja, wirklich, wirklich sehr schön und traurig gemacht. Wunderbare Atmosphäre hier, ja. Ich weiß gar nicht, was ich sonst dazu sagen soll. Ähm... Ja, ich hoffe, euch hat das äh, auch gefallen. Ich weiß, als Let's Play war das jetzt vielleicht nicht die beste Wahl. Ich habe relativ wenig gesagt, weil ähm, ja ich, ich wollte einfach nicht äh, die Atmosphäre kaputt machen, indem ich irgendwelche Sprüche oder sowas ablasse. Ähm, zwischendurch habe ich mal meine Meinungen oder so kundgetan, aber... Die meiste Zeit habe ich doch einfach eher, ähm, ja, einfach eher zugehört und das Ganze auf mich wirken lassen. Ähm, ich hoffe, das war äh, okay, denn ähm, ich dachte, jedes Wort zu viel ähm, wird das Ganze halt, ja, wird einen aus der Story reißen oder keine Ahnung. Jedenfalls äh, vielen, vielen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Den Link zum Spiel gibt es äh, in der Videobeschreibung. Wenn es euch gefallen hat, ähm, dann spielt es gerne selber, wobei Spiel und Spielen eigentlich sehr unpassend für Fragments of Him ist, finde ich, weil... Naja, gespielt habe ich es hier eigentlich nicht. Ich habe... Mh, naja, man, man ist ja eher durch eine Story geleitet worden. Also... Ich nenne es Geschichte. Ich nenne es nicht Spiel, ich nenne es Geschichte. Auf jeden Fall... Ähm, hoffe ich, dass euch das Let's Play trotz meiner Schweigsamkeit ähm, gefallen hat ähm, und wir sehen oder hören uns dann hoffentlich bei einem nächsten Let's Play. Bis dahin, macht's gut und ciao!